Hey guys, welcome to Piping Engineers. In today's video, we will learn about reducers. We will see what are the different types of reducers, what are their uses in the industry, and what is the differences between those two reducers. So guys, for more videos and updates, please like, follow, and subscribe to our channel. So let's begin our today's video and learn about the reducers. So guys, what is a piping system? A piping system is generally installed in a plant to convey fluids required for chemical processes and other operational processes. Basically, a piping system is a complete network that consists of your walls, your fittings and online measuring instruments. So when all these things are arranged in a system, they make a complete piping system. With the help of this arrangement of this system, we can convey fluids, gases from one part of the plant to another part of the plant. So what are the basic components that, in, that are included in your piping system? So basically our piping system includes our pipes, fittings, flanges, gaskets, bolting, walls, devices such as expansion joints, walls, flanges, traps, strainers and inline instruments and separators. So guys when all those things that are mentioned here they are they are maintained in such a systematic order so that they can be used to convey one part of the fluid from one place to another they are known as piping system and all these components of piping system are arranged to maintain the flow from one part of the place to another part so these are the very important components of piping system and all these components itself itself arranged in a order make our piping system guys what are fittings a fittings a pipe fitting is a, a used in a piping system for changing direction yeah so guys elbows are basically used for change in direction branching or to change pipe diameter so to change pipe diameters reducers are used which is the main topic of our today's video and they are mechanically joined to the system so mechanically joined means either they are your wet, wet, they, they can be welded in your system they can be threaded so basically fittings are of three types based on their end connection so one is your butt welded it is simply welded another is your threaded threads are cut on both uh, uh, pipe or the mating part and next one is your socket welded so for example your elbows reducers equalities flanges walls flanges equal unequality all these things are fittings and these things help in the movement of fluid from one place to another so guys i have shown here this is your butt welded fitting you can see the ends of the fitting they will be welded from the pipe this is your threaded fitting so basically different types of threads are cut on both the uh, both pipe and the fitting part and they can be uh, joined with the help of these threads that are improved on your fitting next one is your socket welded so this is a socket inside the uh, fitting and the pipe can be fit inside here uh, up to this socket and again it can be welded so this is a basic definition of our piping system so moving on to next guys so basically let's move on to our today's main topic what is a reducer so reducers you all you all would be aware reducers you would all have seen in the industry in the basically they are uh, as the name suggests a reducer is a thing that reduces the size of the pipe or is a it is a fitting a bit basically a fitting that is a size reduced fitting so a reducer is a kind of fitting which is used in process piping that reduces pipe size from larger bore to smaller bore so this is one thing so when it is reducing the size from larger bore to smaller bore it is an it is known as reducer and when it is used in a reverse direction that is from a smaller bore size to larger bore size it is known as an expander so basically reducer and expander they both are same things but the uh, use but the size orientation but the orientation usage make uh, calls uh, calls them one is once it can be called as your reducer and if it is used from your smaller bore size to larger bore size it is called as your expander so basically a reducer allows a change in size so mostly in, in plants uh, in process industries or in any of the industries uh, when the different branch steppings are taken away from the main pipe so there is a uh, there is a, a, a term called uh, sometimes we need to change the pipe size so to join that smaller pipe size with the larger pipe size a reducer is used so basically that joining is done with the help of a reducer so the length of a reduction is usually equal to the average of large 
average of the larger and smaller diameter pipes so the dimensions of reducers they are given as per your asme b16.9 so this is basically the dimension of the reducer so how much will be the length of your reducer so this is generally taken from this asme section b16.9 so guys there are two types of reducers that are used in industry both of them have their own significant and own usage in the industry one is your eccentric reducer and another is your concentric reducer so what is our what is eccentric reducer i have shown here eccentric reducer if you can see the horizontal portion of the uh, horizontal portion is same and there is no change in this horizontal portion and it is when the pipe is reduced from on the other end this end it is reduced so this is known as eccentric reducer so the basically if we are having a flat end at one place so it is our eccentric reducer next one is our concentric reducer guys so what is what is this concentric reducer you can see the reduction of the pipe is done from both ends so this is our concentric reducer so uh, depending upon the system requirement both of these reducers have their significance so that we will be learning in our next slide so guys what is a concentric reducer as i already told you in our last slide concentric reducer the reduce reduction of pipe is done at both ends if you can see here the reduction of pipe is done from both ends so this is our concentric reducer in concentric reducer it is achieved by decreasing the diameter of a fitting at a constant rate over a specified length as i already told you this high, this length of the pipe this length of the reducer it is given as per asme b16.9 and this is a constant rate uh, constantly uh, the size is reduced over a specified length so this this length is fixed depending upon the diameter reduction so if my d changes uh, d d and d1 changes so our uh, this length of our reducer will also get changed so concentric reducer they are used to join pipes tubes of different diameters on same axis if you can see suppose my my parent pipe is this this is my parent pipe and this is the center of parent pipe and if our if my connecting pipe is somewhat say like this so this these are having same axis so our center line doesn't get changed and if you want to connect the pipe that are having same center line we use concentric reducers so concentric reducers are used for the same center line or same axis line adjoining they can also be used as concentric expander as i already told you if they are used in opposite direction they can be used as your concentric expander so moving on to next let's learn about eccentric reducers so in eccentric reducers the basic difference between concentric reducer and eccentric reducer is uh, on uh, in concentric reducers the uh, reduction is done on both ends while on in, in eccentric reducer one of the end is fixed and the reduction is done only you know in, in uh, only from one end and that too over a fixed length so as your diameter changes as I, as as like in concentric reducer as this diameter changes when d and d1 changes this specified length also get changed but the part is that this horizontal portions remain same so this is the main difference between concentric reducer and eccentric reducer in eccentric reducers the plane end of the pipe there is a horizontal part in the reducer while in concentric reducers uh, the tapering is done on both ends so next part is uh, whenever we want to join the two pipes who are having which are having different axes so if you can see the parent pipe is having this axis and the other pipe is having this axis and we want to join those two pipes uh, we use concentric reducers uh, sorry eccentric reducer so the, basically this is the difference between eccentric and concentric reducer a eccentric reducer is manufactured with smaller outlet of center to large end which allows it to align with only one side of the inlet and the same fitting can also be used as your eccentric expander so uh, we will be discussing that in our next slide uh, eccentric reducers they are used in our pump suction lines so why they are used in pump suction lines because of uh, the air entrapment issues if we use concentric reducers so there there can be chances of air entrapment in these portions here air entrapment can be uh, happen and uh, due to which there can be problem in a problem of cavitation in pumps so that we have covered in our uh, in another video for pump cavitation you can watch that video that i have already discussed very clearly so this is the eccentric reducer so let's see next so what are the differences between concentric and eccentric reducers where they are used and uh, what is the basic uh, use of those re uh, reducers so guys in horizontal liquid piping eccentric reducers are used must be uh, eccentric reducers are used and they must be installed with flat side up so uh, flat side up so why the flat side up so that it can prevent air trapping if we use this uh, tapered side if we use this tapered side up uh, so there can be air trapping as i already told you if there can be uh, there will be air trapping again there can be problems with the system with the equipment and air may get entrapped with the pipe uh, air may get entrapped in your equipment also and it may damage your equipment 
so eccentric reducers are used in pipe racks where bottom of pipe has to be maintained so yeah so as as i already told you if are having if if the bottom of pipe has to is uh, has to be maintained same we can we will be going for eccentric reducer as they are having one flat side so when we can we can match that flat side with the parent pipe and that can be welded so bottom of pipe remains same uh, next is in control walls eccentric uh, in control walls eccentric reducers with flat side down is generally preferred as it will give more constant flow through the control wall rather than a concentric reducer or eccentric reducer with flat side up which will give more flow disruption so in case of control walls eccentric ride uh, eccentric reducer with the flat side down is used so these are all basically uh, basically engineering thumb rules and engineering system wise rules that that we generally follow while uh, designing some systems and while constructing some systems in horizontal gas vapor and steam piping eccentric reducers must be installed with flat side down which again allow condensed water liquid to drain at low points so again the, when there will be a flat side down uh, we can get uh, our that uh, steam piping or condensate can be easily removed from the main piping in centric reducer as i already told you they are used in your pump suction line to stop air entrapment in pump suction line while discharge line is generally provided with concentric reducers so basically centric reducers are used so that uh, problem of cavitation can be solved out uh, eccentric reducers are used while in discharge line concentric reducers are used next is in vertical lines concentric reducers are generally used so in vertical lines concentric reducers are generally used as we don't have any issue of maintaining bottom of pipe same and if vertical lines are used we can go for this uh, concentric reducers so guys this was a preliminary a very basic difference between your concentric reducers and eccentric reducers detailing we will be covering in our next videos so guys for more videos and updates please like follow and subscribe to our channel so guys thank you for watching the video thanks a lot